YouTube, it's iPod Touch for Life 165 here, and in this video I want to show you how to download music for completely free on your iPod Touch or iPhone. Uh, now you will need to be jailbroken for this, and there are two things we need to get from Cydia. So, we want to go into the search, and we're going to go search for this. Safari. So that's S-A-F-A-R-I. And now all we want to do is go for the second one we see that says Boss Pref Safari DL Control. And this package installs the download plugin plus the application that is used to toggle it on and off. So top right hand corner button to install and then top right hand corner button again to confirm the installation. Once you have the actual plugin installed, we can go for the application that's going to download the music and store it. This will be called DTunes, so that is D-T-U-N-E-S. So iTunes except the D, and one installed one says DTunes. So again, top right hand corner button to install, and then again top right hand corner button to confirm the installation. Once you have both those things installed, we can go back to our home screen. And we're going to look for the place wherever we see Boss Prefs and DTunes where it was installed. The first thing we want to do is open up Boss Prefs. Mine is right there. The icon for yours will look slightly different unless you have a theme enabled because I do have a theme enabled. So we're going to open up Boss Prefs. And it is going to load up with a list of toggles. We're going to go for the one that says Safari DL. And we're going to make sure that's turned on. Okay? Once we know that Safari DL is turned on, we can click the home button and no need to respring, it is activated now. Now we want to open up DTunes to actually download the music. Now it'll be a picture of a blue box with a music sign in it. I have renamed it to download, but yours will say DTunes. And you're not going to get this uh, sweet loading screen. <laughs> That's custom made too. Alright, and now we have five categories. One that says Browse, Media Player, Torrents, Search, and Settings. So, before we start downloading, we want to actually set up the site where we're going to download the music from. So, in order to do that, we're going to go into Settings. And in the first box, next to Music, we want to change this URL from bmp3.com to what I am about to say and type. So, it is going to be http forward slash, uh, no, I'm sorry, colon forward slash forward slash, so just like the beginning of any other URL, HTTP uh, colon forward slash forward slash www.emp3world.com forward slash. So that is HTTP colon forward slash forward slash www.emp3world.com. If you didn't catch that, that will be in the video description to your right. And uh, once you have that um, typed in, we can click Done. And we want to click the Home button. And that'll let DTunes refresh. And we want to open up DTunes again. Now we will have, uh, now our uh, DTunes application will be refreshed to the website we edited. So we can go into the search. And it will take us to mp3world.com. Now, this website is really good for non-virus and high-quality MP3 downloads. On the home page, you will see a top download section with 20 songs um, that are most popular right now. Or, alternatively, you can search for your song right there. For simplicity's sake, I'm going to take a song right off the home page for top downloads. So, I am going to go for Black Eyed Peas, Meet Me Halfway. Whoops. Meet Me Halfway. All right. And now we'll be taken to the download page. And we just want to click the one that says next to download now. Just click on that. And we are popped up with the Safari download plugin. All we want to do now is click download. And since it is an MP3 file, only about four, not even four and a half megabytes, uh, hopefully it shouldn't take too long. But my internet connection is not too friendly today. Not sure why. So I think it'd be better off if I come back when it is done downloading. Alright, so when the download is complete, 
in the bar where it said download, it'll now say download complete. And now you can go into the browse category, and we'll have a new track there that says Black Eyed Peas Meet Me Halfway. I'm just going to plug in my speakers so we can all hear that it works. And we just click on it. As you can see, that is the song. Alright, and we have a full track here. Alright, I don't want to play too much of that or else I'll get in trouble. Um, so yeah guys, that's how you download music right on it. And now I'm going to show you how to transfer that music to your computer so you can put it into iTunes and then sync it to your actual library. Okay, now in order to transfer the music that we downloaded on our iPod Touch or iPhone to our computer, we will need to SSH into our device. If you're not too sure on how to SSH, I'll put a video link in the description on a video on how the easiest way to SSH into your device. So as always, I will be using WinSCP. So we're going to double click on that and we're going to log in. And now from this root screen, the home screen, whatever you want to call it, we're going to go back once into the various folder, shortened to var. And now we want to open up the folder that says mobile which is also pronounced mobile, however you do it. And now we want to open up the folder that says library. And then we want to open up the folder that says downloads, so right there. And now all we want to do is drag and drop the one that we just downloaded, so that was the one Black Eyed Peas, meet me halfway. We want to click on that and drag and drop it to our desktop. Now we can just click inside this folder and it will uh, pop up with the prompt to copy. We just want to click copy, of course, and it will copy that mp3 audio file to our PC. Or Mac, of course, you can do this all on a Mac. And now we can close out of our SSH client, and here is the song that we just copied, Black Eyed Peas, Meet Me Halfway. So if we wanted to drag and drop it into iTunes, we could just double click on it and it would be added to iTunes and then we could sync our iPod and we'd have it in our song library. So if we wanted to change any information we could always right click, click get info, put info, and put meet me halfway, black eyed peas, and the album is the end, in case you didn't already know that. Okay? Then we can click OK and it'll be automatically sorted into our library and we can just sync our iPod and it'll be back into our music uh, application. Okay guys? So I want to thank all of you for watching. Uh, if this video did help, please rate it 5 stars. And if you're a new viewer, please subscribe as well. And if this video worked, comment below. Uh, I want to thank you guys for doing that and I will see you guys in the next video.